Uh, just before this video starts, just want to say thank you to John Waller from Bexley Heath Bus Garage. Thanks for your donation. Uh, Uncle Richard sent that through. Appreciate that. Cycle on. Welcome to season two, episode two of the UK Bike Tour. Excuse the shaking, I've had two cups of coffee. This is Old Paul. You meant mental health support in the world. Just made that up, but but need to calm. Or better yet, talk to someone if you've got any problems. Cycle on. Look up there, a whole colony of deer. This is trouble. I'm in bandit country. Sorry, scrap that. I'm in Bambi country. Here is a rock. As I walk on this rock, slowly pan the camera up, I'd like to introduce you all to the North Coast 500. I did want to stop and just film that and cycle past it for you just so you could enjoy a nice shot but uh, the midges have come out uh, it's midge o'clock quarter past midge and I can't stop because I've got a phobia of them now horrible things I did just spend a couple of days with a Dutch couple that I met in a hostel and uh, one of the women thought that midges were called midgets and she'd been saying it for a week now I'd just like you to quickly imagine the sort of sentences she'd been saying to people for the last week i.e. walking into a shop and asking if they had any spray that repelled midgets <laughs> I really do like visiting Scotland it's just a shame that there's so many midgets around just to ruin it for everyone that little spot there of beach is just perfect for midgets See, see what see what I mean? It could it could go really wrong. That's all the inappropriate uh, midge midget phrases that could cause confusion. Uh, at a lovely campsite, Margaret, the owner, said I could stay for free. He also treated me to chicken and chips. Sack on. It's the tourist dog. About time I admit something to the vlog. Um, a bit embarrassed about this, but uh, I'm absolutely petrified of cows. There's a big gang of them over there. This one young one keeps turning around looking at me. I'm trying to make it as apparent as possible that I'm not looking at him because he's uh, don't want to get the wrong idea. There he is at the back. All cocky, confident, full of hormones. Um, I'd make a joke about it, but I'm really not in the mood. The corner. Oh my god, there's one. Ah, so I'm supposed to go that way, and then go the other way. I'm just... Oh, you're making a proper noise at me. I'm getting out of it. So I've gone left down the private road. I had to turn because. The big one looked back and went uh, at me. Can you hear that? It's like he's, it's like he's doing a battle cry. He's going. Uah. Oh my god! The big one just come around the corner and starting to have mad. getting dark uh, it's sort of just dawn on me now that this is serious countryside cycling I haven't seen anyone in about 30 miles all day um, I haven't eaten I've only eaten once uh, I, I don't think there's gonna be any 24-hour shops around here like every time I get on a valley I just hope that it's gonna be a big lit up services side morning everyone I'm up about 9 a.m. Pitched up last night, thought, ah, oh, that looks nice. Bit of forest, it was pretty dark. Well, I couldn't see a thing. I think I'm on someone's front garden. Uh, better get out of here quickly. 
actually scratch that. She just invited me around for tea. So I've got 